keeping things obvious like that, very simple, will really help you develop that masterpiece that I truly believe is out there for you. I was in the desert once, out in the middle of nowhere. Absolutely nowhere, just me, the sand, and silence. But if you know what to listen for, it ain't silent out there. I heard a music out there I never heard before in the silence. What I just read was a scene from one of my favorite movies of all time, Eddie and the Cruisers 2. In that scene, Eddie talks to his younger bandmate, Rick Diesel, who's a, a young guitar hotshot, really good technically, but Rick kind of struggles with the intensity that Eddie has musically. And he asks him, how do I become more intense when I'm playing? What is more intense? And that was Eddie's answer. Well, this scene is profound. It's very profound because I was also in a desert once. Not a physical desert, but a mental desert. I was, at the time, very depressed. I didn't feel that I had any any direction in my life and I was just feeling just just feeling horrible and so my way to cope was to isolate myself in the silence the desert taking long walks and on those long walks I also just like Eddie in the movie heard music that I've never heard before it was not silence in the silence came something beautiful it, it was happening right here or right here. I, I'm not quite sure. Sometimes things get mixed up. My brain, my mental, my heart, my soul, my whole being heard something that came out of, out of there, really. I heard music. I heard something that I had not heard before. Now, yes, I was a guitar player. I wrote songs. I could improvise a little bit. I was playing in bands at the time. Uh, yet, something was different before that experience. And the main difference is that whenever I would write a song, I would start with this, the guitar. I would start with maybe a chord that I had learned, or a lick. I would try to approach songwriting with the instrument in hand. And that can be good sometimes, but truth is this can be a big limitation sometimes. The reason is that this is your pencil. You are the author. The, the, the pencil doesn't tell the story. The pencil is just the tool that allows the author to express his story, to, to write that story down. So in the same way, uh, the guitar, in this case, is the instrument that is used to share the musical experience. The musical experience doesn't come from, from here. The music really doesn't. Whenever you approach songwriting with this, you are going to write things that are relating to things that you've either worked on in the past, chords, licks, and you're limiting yourself to the, to the knowledge that you've acquired on the instrument, or maybe you're gonna be heavily influenced by another piece of music. Again, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this, but I discovered in my desert that music is much bigger than that. It's much bigger than a piece of wood and strings. Music is a, this universal gift that if you are able to hear it, will not only help you express yourself in a beautiful way, but also it will, it will help you be in tune with the invisible world, with the beauty of our creator. Whether you're a believer or not, I think there's something very valuable with this. Let's go back to that desert. All right, so in the desert, I, I, I was alone and nothing around. I didn't have a guitar, I was walking um, for hours in the south of France where I grew up and I would just hear snippets of ideas and the only tool that I had was my voice and my, my internal being. My internal being was the composer. I had to use my imagination and that's how I was able to discover new musical paths that later on I could explore with my, my guitar but it all started there in the silence. And so I started thinking about a process to maybe try to, uh, to simplify that um, experience. See, I, I didn't want to always have to be in that dark desert, mental desert, it was a hard time. I wanted to be able to harness that experience later on when I was happy, because I, I, I was hoping that one day I would get out of the, the depression, and eventually I did. 
And so I came up with, um, with this, love. <laughs> it's an acronym. I know, you've probably heard about it before. Love stands for lyrical, obvious, visual, and expandable. Those four components, L-O-V-E, are essential, in my opinion, and condensed that experience that I had in the desert to be able to come up with amazing new ideas that oftentimes have nothing to do with some of the things that you've learned on your instrument. L is for lyrical, something that is written down, words, stories, it, it all starts with that, with a story. Whether you're a songwriter, a traditional songwriter with um, lyrics and music or instrumental music, the story will help you carry that message. Always for obvious, and oftentimes as guitar players, we are very guilty of not embracing the obvious route. See, obvious is something simple, something that comes right away without working too much on it. And oftentimes, if you trust that original idea, that tiny little spark that you might hear in your desert, that might become a masterpiece. And it's oftentimes very, very simple. If you listen to all the, the great classical composers, the, the theme, the starting point, is oftentimes very, very simple. It's the embellishment that makes those pieces grandiose, but really the, the starting point is oftentimes very, very obvious. V is for visual, which is something as guitar players we're often very comfortable with. When we write something, we tend to write thinking of a scale, a box. So many good riffs are written in that minor pentatonic scale, and that's a very visual approach. Now, if you only go the visual route without the lyrical and obvious, you're missing out because all your music is, is heavily directed by that visualization. However, V is an important aspect of that lesson that I learned in the desert, because if you can visualize something, and I'm not just talking about visualizing a scale, a chord, a position, I'm also talking about the imagery around music, that's going to help you simplify the message. So let me give you a quick example. Let's say that you have a musical idea that goes like this, four notes, one, two, three, four. These four notes are all ascending. I'm going to visualize this, and translate this into an image similar to this one. Now that image is really going to help me develop that idea. I have a four step ascending mountain or stairs or ladder. From there, what can I do? Well, I can descend it. Great, let's try that. So that might be the next logical step. Now I'm gonna use that ladder, those steps, those four different steps, try to build something else. Maybe the next step down is going to be right here. And then from here, I can ascend four other steps. And then descend these four steps. If I didn't draw that simple picture in my mind, my song might be a little bit incoherent where I have a few steps here and then I'm taking this huge leap all the way to the next ladder, all the way up there, far up there, and, and my story doesn't really have much continuity and I'm gonna lose the, the listener. Now, I know this is very basic stuff, but again, back to the obvious. Obvious is a fundamental aspect of those lessons that I learned in my desert and it, keeping things obvious like that, very simple, will really help you develop that masterpiece that I truly believe is out there for you. It's closer than you think inside. The final piece of the formula is expandable. Expandable means that you can take any section of your song and expand on it, develop it, bring that idea somewhere else with very simple, obvious steps. It's just like a book. You wouldn't start a book with chapter seven. It wouldn't make any sense. These chapters are laid out in front of you in a very logical order and the mysteries of chapter two will be understood because you read chapter one. Very, very similar. So yes, I was in the desert once, and in the desert, I discovered love. L-O-V-E, lyrical, obvious, visual, expandable. My desert happened about 17 years ago, and ever since, that formula has guided me in my life as a musician. I have discovered a lot more just by following these four components, the four ingredients that help you 
develop into the musician that you already are. You just have to discover those things inside of you. Click this to start applying the love formula into your playing. This is very different from anything else you've seen, but it really works. Lyrical, obvious, visual, expandable. I'll meet you in this video. I'll see you there. Mm.